Alright, so I finally decided to update my uh, video card. Uh, I got myself a newer uh, XFX uh, uh, 7770 Black Edition. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually a very, very cool running card. And um, it doesn't really draw too much energy at all. And uh, compared to my last one, it's a uh, NVIDIA, uh, what is it called, a uh, BFG 250 Overclocked Edition. And uh, that card, it, it's it's still good, but it's just, you know, on the older side, so it has older technology. You know what I mean? Like, I think it has DirectX uh, 10 and um, it's an older version of OpenGL. You know what I mean? This one has a lot of cool stuff like uh, HDMI and some mini display boards and stuff like that. And uh, USB, not USB, I'm sorry, uh, PCI 3 uh, and stuff like that. So anyways, um, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, basically uh, going from, you know, NVIDIA to uh, ATI. So for some people that you might just have, a, you know, NVIDIA, you know, drivers installed on your system and you go from, you know, a mid-range or a lower-end NVIDIA card to a, a better upgraded NVIDIA card. So that's not really that big of a deal. But on Ubuntu, it, it, it kind of is when you're going from, you know, NVIDIA to something that's completely different, which is ATI. So let me go ahead and stop the video for a moment. All right, so here's my older card. And, of course, before you uh, actually remove the card, when you're on or in Ubuntu on the desktop, uh, just be sure that you remove your, your previous driver, right? So if you're running a Novu driver, which is the open source stuff, I wouldn't worry about it at all. Just go ahead and just, uh, you know, swap out your card. Uh, however, if you're running the uh, proprietary driver, make sure you go up to your um, what's called jockey or additional drivers, and uh, mark the uh, the driver that you have installed for removal. Uh, if you're running a third-party PPA, uh, you're going to have to purge that out. And usually, when you purge a PPA like that out, um, what it will do, it'll actually download the the repo driver. So once you're done pur done purging that driver, uh, make sure you still go to jockey and and uh, remove that that driver as well. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out and uh, put that card in, and we'll go from there. All right, so I got the new one in. fits just right. You know what I mean? It's a little bit smaller than, than my older one, which is fine. Uh, but anyways, it fits, fits fine. There we go. You can kind of see what's going on here. There's the, uh, the heat sink and stuff. Uh, if you're wondering about the motherboard, it's basically uh, an ASRock, uh, what do you call it, uh, Extreme 3 uh, 870, I believe. It's a crossfire only board. There are two PCI Express slots. Um, the processor is a uh, AMD Black Edition 960 quad core, but with the uh, with the ASRock UCC, it actually unlocks it to a six core. So that's pretty cool. Uh, eight gigabytes of uh, DDR3. I think it's 1333. Uh, 500 gigabyte blue and a terabyte black and um, and like I said, it's pretty simple. There's nothing much to it. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and there's an optical drive in here that uh, shoots upwards. Like I said, it's kind of a weird case, but, you know, I like it. It's all right. So uh, that's it. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, start screencasting from the desktop, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so I'm back on the desktop, and as you can see, I'm using Unity uh, 2D. And uh, the reason for that is because uh, I believe the open source driver doesn't really work for this uh, particular chipset just yet. The uh, Cape, uh, Cape Verde, I believe it's called, on the uh, 7770. Uh, if you have an older card or just, you know, last generation, it should work fine, I believe. As far as the proprietary drivers on the last generation cards, I'm not too sure. I've been reading some problems with, with it. Um, but anyways. There we go. We'll go ahead and install the proprietary stuff, and um, right here is basically where you just you know pick what driver you want to use. I generally use the uh, first one, not the uh, post release, just the the one that's uh, you know that's shipped with the with the distro. Um, <clears throat> with this card and this driver, uh, I do have artifacts in my video, and um, some of the uh, web pages as I scroll look stretched out for some reason, or the text looks a little wonky. So I can't really use this one, but if you're using an older card, this uh, driver should work for you, I believe. So anyways, I'm going to close this off. So I am using a 64-bit at the moment, and we'll go ahead and grab the, uh, the, driver, um, the driver from the actual uh, AMD website with a, you know simple little commands. Um, recently, it got updated to 12.8, uh, right? And I believe it was 12.6 as of the uh, 16th or the 18th, I believe. Not too sure. 
But anyways, the 12.6 also didn't work for me, but this one does work, so we're going to go ahead and install this. Uh, this first command right here <clears throat> is basically removing any uh, previously installed driver that was installed manually. So if you did this before already and you need to like, you know, upgrade to this newer one, you'll be running this command first. But since I don't have it installed, I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, this one is to remove, uh, like how I just showed you right now with the, uh, with the additional drivers. So if you install a driver that way, this will actually remove that. So anyways, we go ahead and uh, run this command, cd temp. Basically, it's going to be uh, switching to my temp folder and grabbing the latest driver, which is this. <clears throat> and the reason for going to the temp folders is basically just keep things neat. You know what I mean? It's just going to throw in my temp folder, so when I reboot the machine or whatever, it should uh, just uh, delete the file. And your temp folder is your file system under uh, temp and there it is right here all right <clears throat> like I said before I I have installed this already so this next command oh not this one but the next one after this is gonna be uh, I'm gonna have to force it because I, I've done it already uh, if this is your first time don't worry about it so it's almost done hopefully Well, anyways, uh, this next command right here is basically going to give it uh, privileges to run. You know what I mean? You're just marking it for uh, executable, I believe. It's all done. Paste. There we go. We'll go ahead and run the, uh, the driver right now. Paste. There we go. Now it might give me an error. Does want to show you what I'm talking about first. <clears throat> install driver blah 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 yes make sure it's on you know this one right here continue I accept automatic continue Let's see if it works hopefully it works well anyways um I guess I should talk about with it being uh, installed manually, your package manager is not going to be able to see the actual driver. So uh, that's a little bit of a little bit of a bad thing, I guess. Um, so like if you get like an Xorg update or a kernel update, uh, pretty much it's going to break your system. So I usually just keep my eye on the package manager when I'm when I'm uh, updating stuff. I see like a kernel update or a Xorg or whatever. I usually just what I do is just uninstall the driver with this command right here. All right, and uninstall it, then I just run my updates, I reboot the machine, then I just go ahead and reinstall it again. And that's, oh, I didn't have to force it. All right, exit. And go ahead and uh, run this last command. Paste, enter, and that's it. I should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here and uh, reboot the machine. I should have my uh, driver working just fine. All right, so I'm back, and the driver is working very, very well. Got full acceleration. Let's go and look at the uh, Catalyst Control Center. Uh, basically, in here, it just allows you to adjust your display settings. You know, like your dis i believe the resolution and the uh, what monitor you're using. If you have, if you have like, uh, you know, like multiple monitors, I guess, and uh, anti-aliasing and colors and stuff like that. So it's pretty useful to have all in one spot. Um, anyways. As you notice, I did install this driver uh, manually. So when you do update your system, you got to keep that in mind that your package manager does not see that driver. So you have a potential of uh, you know breaking your system by installing a, a newer Xorg or uh, you know what do you call it, like a, a newer kernel update or something like that. So that's you know a potential risk. Um, you can uh, build dev packages from the run file, I believe. Uh, I did try this twice this morning from two different tutorials and it didn't work for me. So what I'm going to do is probably in the next week or two I'm going to retry it again. And if I, if I get it to work I'll make another video. But as of now, um, this driver, the way it is, it's perfect. You know, everything works just fine. My video playback is just fine. You know, the games run perfectly fine. So I'm happy with it a lot. So um, <clears throat> anyways, let's go ahead and uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get out of here. Uh, and hopefully, you know, within the next, what, month or two, 
before the year end of the year hopefully <laughs> will uh, have steam and that's pretty much the reason well that's that's like the main reason really is uh, why I bought this card too you know what I mean because I like I said newer technology uh, newer version of OpenGL uh, and with this newer driver the, the card runs you know beautifully so uh, we'll see hopefully it'll be a, a good thing so uh, see you guys later